nervous tissue. Throughout the day, your body perceives and responds to all kinds of sensations. You smell things. You feel the touch of a hand on your shoulder. You are visually aware of your environment. You control muscle movements in order to walk, in order to talk, in, to, in order to chew. You hold things which involve your muscle movements. Other muscle movements occur without you even knowing it. So your heart beats, your stomach turns to digest your breakfast. You jump when startled, when you hear a car honking at you or something. Um, all of these sensations and all of these muscle movements are interpreted and controlled by your nervous system. In this particular unit, we are going to look at the nervous system in terms of its general function. Um, some general characteristics of nervous tissue, including looking at the main cell of a nervous tissue called the neuron. See a picture of it right here. What does the neuron do? You're also going to look at the supporting cells that make up the nervous system and what do those cells do to help support the neuron and its main function in conducting electrical impulse. You're going to look at what happens in order to get an electrical impulse to travel along the length of a neuron. We have to get information from the center of our brains, usually down to maybe the tips of our toes. How is it that these electrical signals travel along these, si these cells from one place in the body to another place to generate an action? So this is called an action potential. You're going to look at the chemical and physical things that happen to a neuron in order to generate an action potential. And not only generate the action potential, but to pass that action potential or that electrical signal on to the next neuron. Your body isn't just one long neuron, it's a whole bunch in a row. So we got to get that electrical signal to jump from one neuron to the next, from that one to the next, in order to get our signal from point A to point B in the body. You will also look at neurotransmitters. Um, chemicals that have very specific functions. How are they released or affected by action potentials? Um, and just generally, how does your nervous system function in order to get signals from point A to point B in the body? If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. There's some, you know, complex chemical um, activity that occurs in this particular chapter or that are discussed. So don't hesitate to ask questions. And if you need anything, I'm here. Otherwise, have a fantastic week.